Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 6th of September 2024. Essence Sweet children, this study of yours is your source of income. Through this study you arrange an income for 21 births. Question Is it an income or a loss to go to the land of liberation? Answer For devotees it is an income because for half a cycle they have been asking for peace. Even after making a lot of effort they haven't found peace. They are now to receive peace from the Father that is, they are to go to the land of liberation. So that is the fruit of their efforts of half a cycle. This is why that too is said to be an income, not a loss. You children are making effort to go to the land of liberation in life. You now have the history and geography of the whole world dancing in your intellects. Om Shanti The spiritual father has explained to you sweetest children that it is the spirit that understands everything. At this time the father is to take you children to the spiritual world. That is called the spiritual deity world and this is called the physical world, the world of human beings. You children understand that there was a deity world. It was a pure world of divine human beings. Human beings now are impure and this is why they praise and worship those deities. You have the awareness that, in the tree, there is truly first just the one religion. You have to explain the picture of the tree too when you explain the variety form image. The seed of this tree is up above. The father is the seed of this tree. As is the seed, so is the fruit, that is, the leaves that emerge from it. This too is a wonder. Such a tiny thing gives so much fruit. Its form continues to change so much. No one knows this human world tree. This is called the Kalpa tree. This is only mentioned in the Gita. Everyone knows that the Gita is the scripture of the number one religion. Scriptures too are number wise, just as religions are established number wise. Only you children understand this. No one else has this knowledge. It is in your intellects what religion is first in the tree and then how the other religions grow. This is called a huge drama. This whole tree is in the intellects of you children. The main thing is how the tree grows. The trunk of the deities doesn't exist now. All the branches and twigs are still standing there but the foundation of the original eternal deity religion doesn't exist. It is remembered that the original eternal deity religion is established and that all the other religions are destroyed. You now know that the deity tree will be very small. At that time, none of the other religions will exist. The tree is small at first and then it continues to grow. It has gradually grown and has now become so big. Its lifespan is now over. The example of the banyan tree is very good to explain this. This is also the knowledge of the Gita. 
The Father sits here and personally speaks this to you through which you become the kings of kings. Then on the path of devotion, the Gita scripture etc. will be written again. This drama is eternally predestined. The same will happen again. Then whichever religion is established, it will have its own scripture. The Sikh religion will have its own scripture and the Christians and Buddhists will have their own scriptures. The history and geography of the whole world is now dancing in your intellects. The intellect is dancing the dance of knowledge. You know this whole tree and how the religions come and how the tree grows and how our one religion is then established and everything else is destroyed. They sing, when the sun of knowledge rises, dot dot dot. Now there is total darkness. There are now so many human beings, but not all of them will exist here at that time. They did not exist in the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. The one religion has to be established once again. Only the father comes and speaks this knowledge. You children come and study so much knowledge to earn an income. The father comes here as the teacher and so the arrangement for your income is made for half a cycle and you become very wealthy. You know that you are now studying. This is the study of the imperishable jewels of knowledge. Devotion is not said to be of the imperishable jewels of knowledge. Through whatever they study on the path of devotion, there is only loss. They don't become jewels. Only the one father is called the ocean of the jewels of knowledge. The other is devotion. There is no aim or objective there. There is no income there. They study at school to earn an income. Then they go to a guru to perform devotion. Some adopt a guru at a young age and others adopt a guru in their old age. Some adopt renunciation at a young age. So many people go to the Kumbha Mela. None of that will exist in the Golden Age. You children now have all of these things in your awareness. You now know the Creator and the beginning, middle and end of creation. They have lengthened the duration of the cycle. They have said that God is omnipresent. They don't have any of this knowledge at all. The Father comes and awakens you from the sleep of ignorance. You are now continuing to imbibe this knowledge. Your batteries continue to be charged. Through this knowledge there is an income and through devotion there is a loss. When the time of your loss ends, the Father comes to inspire you to earn an income. To go into liberation is also an income. Everyone continues to ask for peace. While saying, O bestower of peace, their intellects go to the Father. They say there should be peace in the world, but no one knows how that will happen. The land of peace is separate from the land of happiness. They don't even know that. Even the one who was number one didn't know anything. You now have all of this knowledge. You know that you have come to play your parts of acting on this field of action. Where did you come from? 
from the world of Brahm. You came from the incorporeal world to this corporeal world to play your parts. We souls are residents of another place. These bodies of the five elements remain here. It is only when we have bodies that we are able to speak. We are living actors. You would no longer say that you don't know the beginning, middle and end of this drama. Previously you didn't know it. You neither knew your father nor your home or form accurately. You now know how souls continue to play their parts. You have remembered this. Previously you didn't remember this. You know that only the true father tells you the truth through which you become the masters of the land of truth. They have written of the truth in the Sukmani Hymn of Peace part of the Sikh Granth. The land of truth is called the truth. All the deities are those who speak the truth. It is the Father who teaches you the truth. Look how much he is praised. The praise of him that is remembered is useful to you. People praise Shiv Baba. He alone knows the beginning, middle and end of the tree. The Father tells you the truth and so you children become truthful. The land of truth is also created. Barrett was the land of truth. This is the number one highest on high pilgrimage place because the Father who grants salvation to everyone only comes in Barrett. The one religion is established and everything else is destroyed. The Father has explained to you that there is nothing in the subtle region. All of those things are just visions that people have. They have visions on the path of devotion too. If there were no visions, how could all of those temples etc. have been built? Why does worshipping take place? They have visions and feel that those beings are in the living form. The father explains, all the temples etc. that are built on the path of devotion, everything that you have seen and heard will repeat. The cycle continues to turn. The play of this knowledge and that devotion has been created. It is always said, knowledge, devotion and disinterest. They don't know any of the detail at all. The father sits here and explains that this knowledge is the day and that devotion is the night. Disinterest is in the night and then it becomes the day. There is sorrow in devotion and that is why there is disinterest in that. You cannot say that there is disinterest in happiness. Renunciation too is adopted because of sorrow. They believe that there is happiness in purity. That is why they renounce their wives and leave them. Nowadays they have even become wealthy because one cannot receive happiness without wealth. Maya attacks them and brings them back from the jungles into the cities. Vivekananda and Ramakrishna were two great sannyasis who existed in the past. Ramakrishna had the power of renunciation but it was Vivekananda who explained and practiced everything about devotion. They both have religious books. When someone writes a book, he sits in total concentration. 
When Ramakrishna was writing his biography, he told his disciple to go and sit far away. He was a very strict sannyasi who was very well known. The father does not say that you have to call your wife your mother. The father says, consider her too to be a soul. All souls are brothers. The matter of sannyasis is separate. He, Ramakrishna, considered his wife to be his mother. He praised his mother. This path is of this knowledge. Disinterest is something else. Because of disinterest, he considered his wife to be his mother. There cannot be a criminal eye when the word mother is used. With the relationship of sister, there can be criminal vision. There would never be any bad thoughts about a mother. A father can also have criminal vision for his daughter. But there would never be any criminal vision about a mother. Therefore the sannyasi began to consider his wife to be his mother. In connection with him they don't ask, How would the world continue? How would creation take place? That was one person who had disinterest and he considered his wife to be his mother. Look how much he is praised. Here the vision of many is pulled even with the awareness of brother and sister. This is why Baba says, consider yourselves to be brothers. This is a matter of knowledge. That is a matter of just one person. Here there are many brothers and sisters who are the children of Prajapita Brahma. The father sits here and explains everything to you. This one has also studied the scriptures etc. That religion of the path of isolation is a different one. That is just for men. That is limited disinterest whereas you have disinterest in this whole unlimited world. The father only comes at the confluence age and explains unlimited things to you. You now have to have disinterest in this old world. This is a very dirty and impure world. Bodies here cannot be pure. Only in the golden age will souls receive new bodies. Although the soul becomes pure here, his body still remains impure until he reaches his karmatit stage. When alloy is mixed into gold, the jewellery made from that is also mixed with alloy. When the alloy is removed, the jewellery will also be of real gold. Both the souls and bodies of Lakshmi and Narayan are Sato Pradhan. You souls and your bodies are both Tamo Pradhan and ugly. You souls have become ugly by sitting on the pyre of lust. The father says, I come and make you beautiful from ugly. The father says, I come and make you beautiful from ugly. All of these aspects are of this knowledge. There is no question of water, etc. All have become impure by sitting on the pyre of lust. Therefore, a raki is tied on you to make you promise to become pure. The father says, I am speaking to souls. I am the father of souls, the one you have been continually remembering. Baba, come and take us to the land of happiness. Remove our sorrow. In the Iron Age there is limitless sorrow. The father explains, 
You have become ugly and tamopradan by sitting on the pyre of lust. I have now come to take you off the pyre of lust and seat you on the pyre of knowledge. You now have to become pure and go to heaven. You have to remember the Father. The Father pulls you. When a couple came to Baba, one of them felt that pull, whereas the other one didn't. The husband instantly said, I will become pure in this final birth and not climb onto the pyre of lust. That doesn't mean that there was faith. If there were faith, they would write a letter to the unlimited father and maintain a connection. Baba has heard that they remain pure, but that they remain totally engrossed in their own business. They don't have any remembrance of the father. You should remember such a father a great deal. Husband and wife have so much love for one another. A wife remembers her husband so much. The unlimited father should be remembered the most. There is a song. Whether you love me or reject me, I will never let go of your hand. It isn't that you have to come and live here. That would be renunciation. It would mean that you leave your homes and families and come and stay here. You are told, stay at home with your families and become pure. This furnace had to be created at the beginning through which so many became ready to go and serve. There is a very good story about them. Those who belonged to the father and stayed there in the Yagya but didn't do any spiritual service will go and become maids and servants. They will receive a crown at the end, number-wise, according to their efforts. There are their clans too. They cannot become part of the subjects. A person from outside cannot become an insider. Those of the Vallabhachari sect never allow outsiders to enter their place. All of these matters have to be understood. This knowledge is of only a second. So why is the father called the ocean of knowledge? He continues to explain to you and will continue to explain to you till the end. When the kingdom is established, you will reach your karmatit stage. Then this knowledge will end. It is a matter of just a second, but it still has to be explained. You receive a limited inheritance from a limited father whereas the unlimited father makes you into the masters of the world. You will go to a land of happiness and all the rest will go to the land of peace. There, there is nothing but happiness. The father has come and we have the guarantee that we are becoming the masters of the new world by studying Raja Yoga. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. Have unlimited disinterest in this dirty and impure world and make full effort to make your soul pure. Stay attracted to the one father alone. 2. Charge your battery by imbibing this knowledge. Make yourself wealthy with the jewels of knowledge. 
it is now the time to earn an income. Therefore, save yourself from any loss. Blessing. May you be a holy swan who imbibes the jewels of this knowledge and finishes all waste. Holy swans have two specialities. One is to pick up the jewels of this knowledge and the other is to discern between water and milk with the power of discernment. To separate milk from water means to discern between the wasteful and the powerful. Wasteful is said to be like water and powerful is said to be like milk. So to finish waste means to be a holy swan. Constantly let the jewels of this knowledge be in your intellect at every moment. When your churning is continuous, you will become full of jewels. Slogan Those who remain constantly stable in their elevated position and finish any opposition become victorious souls. Om Shanti